Thank you for listening to Walk in Victory Podcast, where your host is David Randolph. The question this morning is, shall we continue in sin? Um, Romans 6, 6 and 7 says, for we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. The question is asked to Paul, so shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Paul replies, with a resounding answer. God forbid. To desire to continue in sin shows a misunderstanding of this abundant grace and a contempt for Jesus' sacrifice. Hallelujah. Either we believe what God says is true, or we don't. Hallelujah. Either we take him at his word, When he adequates sin, equates sin to death. Or we do not believe him at all. Hallelujah. They ought to be a change. Hallelujah. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you begin to grow in Him, they ought to be a change. You ought to be able to recognize a change. And those that are surrounding you ought to start seeing a change. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's just like a building. That's been standing for years. And they put a sign in the yard or in the field. And it tells us by us reading it that a change is going to take place. Say if they're going to build a Walmart, say if they're going to build a Lowe's or whatever they're going to build, they would tend to put a sign before the change take place that this is coming on this same land. Hallelujah. We don't know what is taking place behind the scene. 
when they place the sign, hallelujah, you don't know when the date or the time that the change is going to start taking place, but we got signs out to showing us as bypassers, as onlookers, that the change is coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Whether whether I like the change or not, the change is coming. Hallelujah. There are going to be people that is not going to like your change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But 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 there's change going to come. And when you start seeing or continue to see that land, that the sign is sitting there, that change is coming, hallelujah, you'll start seeing bulldozers coming and you'll start seeing trucks coming, hallelujah, getting ready to tear down the old building and getting ready to build the new building, hallelujah, change is coming. Hallelujah. So Paul is saying, God forbid that you continue in sin. A change ought to start taking place. Hallelujah. In the way that you talk, in the way that you think, change things in your heart ought to get ready for a change. A change. Shall we continue in sin? Paul says, God forbid. That's why it's so important that we abide in his word and let his word abide in us. So a change can continue to take place. Hallelujah. Christ died to free us from sin. Not enable us to sin. Hallelujah. When when Jesus died, he was releasing us for our bondage to sin. Hallelujah. Because that is what sin is, slavery. Hallelujah. Sin is what separates us from God. Sin separates us from God. Hallelujah. If I want to use for a topic, God forbid. Thank you for listening to my podcast. Like, share, comment. Hallelujah. Share this message. God forbid.